Some things are too difficult to model in Blender. They're much easier to make in Inkscape like what you're seeing here. Sometimes you see something in the real world and it'd be easier to import them into Inkscape than export them as an SVG than import them into Blender so that you can make a 3D model of what it was that you saw or modify it. I'm going to show you how to make a coin out of my logo right now. I start off with a path in Inkscape and you can tell that it's a path because when I have it selected and I hit F2, uh, F2 <clears throat> you can see that I have all these handles for Bezier curves. So it's a path. So I save it. Actually, I save it as And it comes up, and in this case, I've got it saved as Lord Latch. But I'm only going to cancel that now. So now it's saved as an SVG on my computer. Now what I want to do is in Blender, go to Import, and SVG should be here. If it's not there for you, then what you want to do is go to Preferences and go to Add-ons, this tab up here, and hit SVG. You can see right here I've got the check in the box and that's why it shows. So you want to put this check in the box. I'll just get rid of it so you can see what it looks like. If it isn't there, it's gone. There's no, It's not there. No es bueno. So I'm going to go back to User Preferences again and make sure that that's checked. Boosh. Import. Scalable. And I want to go to Lord Latch. Now you can see that it's real tiny. Sometimes you can't really find it. It's so tiny. So what I tend to do is go up to here to select it. I have it selected, so that's good. What I'm going to do next is transform origin to geometry, and that'll put the origin and in, in the center of it. Now I want to put it right at the center of my screen so I'm going to press select S and selection to cursor. You can see all these choices. You can move the cursor to selected, cursor to center, etc. But most of the time I put my cursor in the center and I put my selection to the cursor if I Well, that's just my preference. <laughs> so, now I want to rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees. Oopsie. You can't see it because he's too small. So I'm going to scale him up. You can see right here in my camera view that it's scaled up pretty good. Scale him up again. Now I'll bring it up here. and. I want my cursor again in the center because I'm going to add a uh, cylinder to it later to make it into a coin. So what I'm going to do is control S again, cursor to selected, and there it is. All right. So I'm looking at my SVG. It's come in as a curve. You can see it's even named curve up here. And if I want it to be something more meaningful, I could say imprint. Type it in as imprint there. So I'm going to extrude now. Uh, zero, one. That's not really. Here you can see it's not really easy to see because it's black. So what I'm going to do is go in and delete the material. And now I can get a good look at what's going on here. I'm going to go back to my extrude and change that to five. Still not enough. Oopsie. That's actually not enough either. 0 0.02. That's pretty nice. Right there. 
I'm going to change my bevel to 0 0.01. And that's ridiculous. Now it's closed up my eyes and my what looks like an eyebrow there, but it's not an eyebrow. I want to be able to see all the way through, and I don't like either of those. How about that? Yeah, that's good. Okay, so that's pretty good right there. Now I'm going to add a cylinder. And I'm going to rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees. That's pretty good. Scale him up so that he encompasses my little dude. And I'm going to scale it back on the y-axis until it shows. That's pretty good. There's my camera view. I'm going to bring my coin down. I don't really like that either because it needs to be a little bigger than that. Oh, that's wondrous. So now I've got a coin. Kind of needs a an edge to it because usually coins are coins have a little um, an edge like a, a a rim around it. So what I'm going to do is scale it on the y-axis. Whoops. Scale on the y-axis. Scale on the y-axis so that my thing doesn't show anymore. I'm going to hit edit with the tab button and I'm going to select, select these two faces. Hit E to extrude, hit scale to scale it down. I'm going to scale it down pretty good right there. Okay, and now I want to scale it just a little bit on the Y axis so that it's back out the way it was and extrude again, scale. Bring it down and scale on the y-axis again, and that brings it right in there. Now I've got a nice rim around it. That looks wondrous. Let's render it and see how that looks. We have some pretty nice shadows and stuff. pretty good just for the heck of it we'll add whoopsie we'll add a material I've got a nice clean copper material it's really copperish because it's not really great a great material for copper but good enough Also, just for the heck of it, we'll change it to a dirty copper. And render it. Kind of interesting, but you basically can make a coin out of any image that has been converted to an SVG. I think in a, another tutorial I might just show how to ma make that, uh, make an SVG from it, but until then, thank you for watching.